Fauci, you are not the knowing prince of all things COVID. You are an American embarrassment. The big lie started almost as soon as the virus hit. It was a virus that simply jumped from animal to human. We now know Dr. Anthony Fauci, the alleged prince of all things COVID, knew of the whispers, but did everything he could to deny that the virus was engineered to infect and kill humans. And so for 15 months, we were sold the big lie the one that killed more than half a million Americans, shut down our economy, divided our country. Fauci knew different and proceeded on his deception tour to keep the secret from being uncovered, literally putting America last and exposing her to China as vulnerable, gullible, and weak. This week's June 2021 demand by Fauci that China now release medical records of Wuhan lab workers who fell ill in November 2019 is not only too little too late, it's laughable. The puzzle became clearer as the Fauci emails were exposed this week. We learned that in spite of lies spewed by WHO leader Tedros, an Ethiopian biologist, puppet and appointee of the CCP, that the virus was not even transmissible human to human. That was a lie. But why say that when selling it would only cause the virus to spread faster? Fauci even had a direct line of communication with Chinese health officials from early on in the pandemic. They were so close that Fauci told the Chinese CDC director that they would get through this together. Curious, the United States has not had access to the Wuhan lab, and yet Prince Fauci is there in black and white, assuaging their guilt and anxiety. Why would our agent tell the principal of another country, the Chinese Communist Party, that we will get through this together? What's with the together? This virus came from China and may very well have been engineered to infect humans. How about for once, Fauci, you stop being a celebrity and be straight with the American people? In truth, it was China's refusal to provide data that caused so many to suspect that natural jump to from animal to human was not true. Now, why would Fauci cover for China? And why for 15 months would Fauci proceed on the theory that the virus simply jumped from bat to human when China refused to give us the data to confirm whether that's even true. In fact, in April 2020, Fauci outright dismissed the lab leak theory, also known as gain of function, where a virus is engineered to infect humans. This he did at a press conference. A group of highly qualified evolutionary virologists looked at the sequences there and the sequences in uh, bats as they evolve and the mutations that it took to get to the point where it is now is totally consistent with a jump of a species from an animal to a human. After that presser, Fauci was thanked by email by the Eco Health Alliance president. Remember that this was a nonprofit who actually gave money to the Wuhan lab that our National Institute of Health gave them. Our grant partially funded research involving bat specimen. And Fauci was so tight with the Chinese that he continued to apologize for them. I think is quite far fetched that the Chinese deliberately engineered something so that they could kill themselves as well as other people. Uh, I, I think that's a bit far out. Really? Who do you think you're kidding? Wuhan was closed off from China. Yet the CCP allowed travel of Wuhan-infected persons 
out of Wuhan to Europe and America. But absolutely no travel from Wuhan into China proper that might affect Chinese citizens. The CCP's actions put truth to the lie that Fauci has been spreading on the Chinese Communist Party behalf, that they would never engineer something that could kill themselves. In the exposed emails, Fauci received warnings that the virus may have been engineered and man-made early on in the outbreak. He was specifically told that COVID looked engineered, yet he dismissed it. Why would Fauci go so far to dismiss information he knew to be more than possible? In fact, probable, given monies to the Wuhan lab indirectly from the NIH. But the biggest and the most incriminating question of all is what I asked last week, and that is, how is it that Fauci predicted in 2017 that President Trump would face a pandemic? If he predicted this, why didn't he develop a responsible method for this virus four years ago? He explicitly said President Donald Trump would face a crisis and pandemic unlike anything we've ever seen. Take a listen. There is no question that there will be a challenge to the coming administration in the arena of infectious diseases, both chronic infectious diseases in the sense of already ongoing disease, and we have certainly a large burden of that, but also there will be a surprise outbreak. But also there will be a surprise outbreak. outbreak. That comment alone, surprise outbreak, should not only frighten you, but convince you that with his unique ability to predict a future pandemic and predict it during President Donald Trump's term, and with all the power and all the money of the United States government, as well as his ability to befriend seven presidents and be the highest paid employee of the federal government, how is it? that Fauci was not ready to protect the American public when he knew a threat was coming. And how did he know this? Did Fauci tell any of this to President Trump? Did Fauci tell President Trump anything about why the Obama administration started funding the Wuhan Virology Institute in 2014? What did Fauci know about ginning up the animal virus sufficient to make it infect humans. Part of Fauci's job was to give away taxpayer money through the National Institute of Health. Most of us don't know that our tax dollars are being used to fund labs outside of the United States. It's akin to money laundering, but clearly legal, where the NIH will fund a not-for-profit who then gives money to labs for questionable purposes. By doing so, they have a disclaimer, as well as no oversight requirement issues. On the basis of the indirect NIH funding to the Wuhan lab, the question remains, why didn't Fauci affirmatively act to determine whether the virus was re-engineered for a biowarfare purpose? His poo-pooing of the idea that a virus had to be engineered to infect humans is now not only contradicted, but shows that he affirmatively acted to prohibit our knowledge of such. Fauci should have engaged the United States Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases, which is a United States Department of Defense lab equipped to study highly hazardous viruses. But no, instead, he affirmatively acted to prohibit knowledge of such so that the United States was unable to address the eruption. He had a fiduciary responsibility to institute methods to protect and arrest the spread of the virus. Why wouldn't he protect American interests? All he needed to say was, tell me what's going on to his friends in the Chinese Communist Party, as well as the World Health Organization. They both received our money but he was too busy giving money to not-for-profits who then gave money to the Chinese. Dr. Fauci, you work for the United States government. In fact, you've become a fabulously wealthy public servant allowed to sit on the scientific board of global grand challenges of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. But we have our own U.S. Army Research Institute of Infectious Diseases, why would you not warn and equip them with the knowledge you garnered so that we could have a strategy? If you have a known pathogen, then we're already steps ahead with the vaccine and antiviral strategies.
In 40 years, you've made millions as a government employee. In 40 years, you've given billions in budget allocations. In 40 years, you've controlled multi-billion dollar budgets. Knowing what was going on at the Wuhan lab, funded in part by money through our Institute of National Health, why didn't you prepare our country for the pathogen that we could respond more quickly to? You predicted a prophetic disastrous outbreak. You convinced the president against his better judgment to shut down the economy, but nothing, nothing you did reduce the number of people who died in this country. We have the same death rate as other countries. In fact, the highest in the world. You have the most equipped government in the world. You predicted in 2017 that this would happen. And what did you do? You did nothing to prepare. Fauci, you are not the knowing prince of all things COVID. You are an American embarrassment. And that's my opening.